Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at positive externalities and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so we've mentioned about externalities in the past with regards to the negative externalities, so let's think about positive externalities now. And we know that an externality is going to be a cost or benefit that is suffered by a third party who is external to an exchange. So externality, something external to an economic exchange or a transaction that we see within a market, that's going to be the topic of discussion. So when production and or consumption create external benefits for third parties outside of the market, these are called positive externalities. And we define our positive externalities as external benefits, which are a benefit that is enjoyed by a third party as a result of economic transactions. So in economics, we're thinking about plenty of transactions or exchanges between our producers and our consumers, and they'll be called our first and second parties. So remember, our markets are underpinned by two constituent parts, which are our producers, and our consumers. So there are two parts and these two are necessary for a market to exist and therefore an exchange to exist as well. Now the third party, so everything other than the consumer and the producer within that market, includes any other economic agent who benefits from the transaction. So as a reminder for our economic agents, we have individuals or households, we have our firms in the market, and then we also have the government. Now positive externalities can either arise from consumption or production. So let's think about production with regards to research and development. So we're going to see a lot of firms participate in researching and development so that it leads to innovation and that's going to lead to lots of positive externalities as more innovation means more invention in society which will lead to a benefit. So you can think about one firm that leads to a technological advancement and that's going to impact other economic agents as well. And then let's think about consumption such as vaccines. And vaccines are a popular example of a consumption externality because it leads to people being healthier around them. So if I myself have a vaccine, then that means to you, uh, I'm not going to infect you. So that's an externality which you get to enjoy through my consumption of a vaccine. And these are called positive consumption externalities which arise when goods with many benefits are consumed by society. So we're going to think about sort of general health care and how if the society is more healthy then I'm likely to not be infected. And then we're thinking about schooling. So schooling is going to be a positive externality because it means that people are going to be more educated which will be helpful to firms and then a furthering of that example of school is higher education such as going to university and college and apprenticeships and all of these skills are developed and picked up so that's going to help an economy's production and then finally we can think about public transport and how public transport is going to decrease the amount of pollution in the air which helps people People as a result. So when I decide to take the bus into the town, then that means I'm going to forego going in my private car and uh, reduce the amount of pollution that I put into the air. So now we can think about positive production externalities, which arise when the production of certain goods benefits individuals outside of an exchange. So we thought about research and development and how that level of innovation is going to benefit other people in society. And then sort of beehives and that production of honey is going to benefit the environment in terms of diversity and pollination. And then if investment into infrastructure such as flood defenses, well, flood defenses are going to protect my property and therefore make me feel more safe and probably secure the value of my property as well. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.